Another day, another makeup tutorial. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer. Wrong brush. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be taking this as my transition. Sometimes I just like to use the bronzer that I'm gonna be using that day as my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna be popping this just within the crease. I'm gonna take this E25 brush from Sigma and the palette I'm taking is the palette I used yesterday. The P. Louise All I See Is Signs palette. And I'm gonna take the shade Abundance and I'm just gonna pop that just in the outer corner. Do you know at this point I'm literally just winging it. I'm not really too sure of what I'm wanting to do here but So what's everyone's plans for the weekend? I never thought I would say this, right? But I'm actually wanting to do some gardening. <laughs> I never thought I would mutter those words. Gardening, like, who am I? <laughs> the front garden is halfway there and our back garden, there's nothing wrong with our back garden but there's just a few wee tweaks that need done. And I have came to the conclusion and I have thought up an idea <laughs> that I want to actually start growing our own like produce. So I'm wanting to kind of like, sort out our back garden so I can actually start growing like potatoes, carrots, peppers. I've actually already started growing a couple of lemon trees. I don't know if they're coming on too well. I'll know in a couple of weeks time if they start sprouting or not but Praise be to Jesus! <laughs> um, because that's one thing I really wanted to do before I was 30 this year was actually grow a lemon tree but all I can see is soil. <laughs> I'm really excited actually, I'm really looking forward to it. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to be no Desi Perkins. It's not going to be Fleming's produce or anything but I'm really excited, you know. I think it'll be quite nice because out in our back garden at the minute we obviously have a bit of a lawn and then we just have like a wall with like shrubs and stuff and I don't know it's hard to explain but we have like a really decent sized back garden and everything so I'm just kind of wanting to like make use of it and we have flowers and everything which is really nice which I'm guessing it was the previous owners that planted them but last year once we had moved in that the grass was really really long and of course Kyle cut the grass and he also cut the flowers. He put the lawnmower over everything, the flowers and everything. <laughs> I tried not to let on that I was pissed. <laughs> you know, like it did tickle me a wee bit, it did giggle, but at the same time I was like, fuck's sake. Such a man thing to do, like. <laughs> so I said to him this year, I was like, if you're going to cut the crafts, please do not mow over. Is it mow over, mawn over, lawn over? Don't cut the flowers. And saying that, we actually don't even have any flowers left at the minute because do you know what I've done? And I, I've actually meant it to tell you this because it was actually really nice. I felt very like, ah. for Mother's Day, it was Mother's Day here a couple weekends ago, but for Mother's Day, I had went out into the garden and picked flowers from my garden for my granny, Kyle's mum, and Kyle's granny's grave and my mum. And do you know something? It was so nice and I brought them in and I had tied them with like this ribbon stuff that I got and it was just so nice actually and like they all really really appreciated it and I was like yeah it's from my garden. <laughs> it was just so nice so I think we at the minute have only like four flowers left. <laughs> I got one of these big fluffy brushes and it's gonna go around all those edges and especially at the inner corner just to really blend that out and just make it all seamless so there's no harsh lines or anything. And I'm being pretty messy with this because obviously I'm gonna clean everything up. I think I'm still going to take that Sigma brush and I'm going to go into 1111, the shade here. And just using pattern motions it's not only going to apply the shadow but it's just going to kind of blend it as I'm applying it. And then just kind of doing that until there's like very minimal product left on the brush. I'm going to keep this brush pretty handy so I can go in and do my blending. Okay, this is so random, but I'm going to take this wee mini Colourpop palette and go into this dark brown shade. I know there's a, the 1111 shade here, but I'm not too sure on whether like one's darker. Oh no, I can't remember what swatch was what. Damn it! What? So one is darker, but I can't remember 
what's which was what. <laughs> Am I actually gonna have to go and rewatch back this footage? Did I? This day. <laughs> right, okay, do you know what, whatever. I'm gonna take this wee eyeshadow anyway from Colourpop and I'm gonna go into this with one of my, I was gonna say BK Beauty, one of my buff and blend brushes. <laughs> And I'm just gonna pop that just the outer corner, keep it a quite tight to the lash line on the outer corner. And then just giving it a wee blend. I'm just using like really light pressure and I'm gonna use the side of the brush just to kind of diffuse that shadow over onto the center of the lid. Oh, it's been such a long time since I've done like a really, really dark, heavy smoky eye like this. I'm also taking the shade Alignment and I'm just going to be introducing that just willy nilly. <laughs> this looks like an absolute mess but trust me, we have to trust the process. Oh, it's been quite a long time since I've actually had to tell you that. Trust the process. <laughs> And then I'm going back into that 1111 11 shade, just going to darken up the outer corner again. So there's that one. Or that one. Oh, they're quite similar, aren't they? Um, I wonder, can I mix these? Do you know what? It doesn't really matter like what shimmer shade that I use anyway, because as I say, I'm going to be going in with one of the glitterly obsessed glitters. So, do you know what? I'm just going to stick my finger into stack them up and vibrations. I'm going to take more of vibrations, like that yellowy shade. Oh, this is so difficult with nails on. I'm also going to take this Revolution liquid liner. I'm just going to do a wee thin line. I'm going to do this before I apply the glitter. Somebody's just left me a comment on one of my recent Instagram pictures. It's the one with me and Kyle. Apparently I look stoned in it. <laughs> I do not smoke the devil's lettuce. Thank you very much. Prep my skin with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I take the shade 02, which is light medium. Fair light. <laughs> Fair light. <laughs> Such a beautiful product. And this is the HNB Luminous Soft Air Focus. Air Focus? Air Soft Luminous. Do you know what? I may as well just actually look at it while reading it instead of like showing you. <laughs> Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation. Jesus. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this side of my face. I wonder if I ever actually went out like that. That wouldn't surprise me. Just remember to do your neck. <laughs> so that was the, I told you, I always forget the name. Modern Renaissance Concealer by Vive. For cream bronzer, this is the Doll Beauty Gimme Contour Magic Wand. Is there a line in my forehead? Like, is it patchy? No? I'm gonna take this 
lipstick blush that I used in yesterday's tutorial. It's from Studio London. It's by Super Drugs Only Makeup Brand. And this is their cheek and lip tint in the shade Empire. This is so nice, you know. It's the brand that's nearly everything's like a fiver. I think the most expensive thing is the foundation. It's a wee bit more expensive, but it's still quite affordable. But I see blush is so nice. <laughs> So just off camera there, I actually have went on ahead and powdered. Um, I've done a wee bit of setting with the Pretty Fresh setting powder from Colourpop. Um, I haven't baked or anything or set the rest of my skin, but I'm obviously bringing the blush over just a wee bit into the inner corner where I have set and it's still looking good. I like guess it's not going funny. You know the way sometimes whenever you apply um, a cream over a powder, it starts to go funny, you know? It's not doing that at all. And like, I love the finish of this wee blush as well because as you can see, like it just provides like a nice wee dew to the skin, like a nice wee glow. Um, and like it's not too glowy or dew looking to the point where it's greasy. I'm gonna do a bit of back in anyway. Um, taking the I Heart Revolution Coconut Powder. Lovely, beautiful. This is the one from Maybelline and I just like to use this to set my skin. I don't do this every day because with me having dry skin, this is very unnecessary, but it's quite early in the afternoon and I have to have this makeup on until later on this evening. Because me and Kyla are gonna go and do the fidge shop Yes, I go out looking like this. <laughs> Full glam, yeah. And then we're going out somewhere else. So this this makeup needs to needs to last. <laughs> and then from the same brand as oh that feels good. <laughs> from the same brand as the wee cream blush, I'm gonna take the setting spray. This is the UGU setting mist. So nice because it has like a nice wee G finish, you know that you can still see like a nice wee glow coming through in my skin. <laughs> and again, fiber. So I think whenever I'm gonna go in and buy another shade of this, I think I might actually top up on this wee set of spray. The Rimmel London highlight. You know what I really need to get back into it. Doing full faces of like one brand makeup tutorials. I went through a phase of doing them and like asking you what type of one brand makeup look she would want and so many of you had asked for like so many different brands and I uh, I never got around to it yet. A popular one was Milani, like a full face of Milani, but I don't know about anybody else, but just like, hear me out. I'm stingy. I'm really stingy. Um, their makeup really isn't cheap whenever you kind of add it all up. <laughs> because I remember one time I was actually going to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. And I went on to Cult Beauty and I had no idea really about the price of uh, Charlotte Tilbury makeup. And then I seen that the eyeshadow palette alone was like £60. And it was like, I think the fuck not. So yeah, any drugstore full face makeup looks you want, hit me up, let me know. I was even thinking of Rimmel, or like even, hear me out, actually like a cruelty free drugstore makeup brand. It's something I've actually always thought about, you know, like going completely cruelty free with my makeup. But then, I don't know if I'm really silly in thinking this, I kind of feel like it's a wee bit hypocritical if you're like cruelly free with just your makeup. Hair care, skin care, body care, etc. But then you eat meat. I don't know, is that being silly? Or can somebody explain that to me? Because I kind of feel like it is a bit hypocritical and I'm so sorry. Like I don't mean to offend anybody if that's the way you live your life. <laughs> but I don't know. Talking about Milani. It's been a while. Milani Bit Blush in Luminosa. I'm just going to take like, a wee bit of this blush because it can be quite pigmented. I 
for bronzer. Is this a brush I've been using? I think so. Um, the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer. I've been loving this bronzer recently, you know. It's so, so good. Do you know what? I love having makeup in my collection. It's been there for far too long. And I'm just like, I just take my notions to just use a certain product again. And I use it and I'm like, shit, <laughs> I, I love you. <laughs> it's so good. Why did I ever stop using you? And that's what's happened recently with, what powder is it? The Hourglass Veal Translucent Powder. Love it. Reached that for the first time in ever a couple of days ago. And I've been using it since, well, apart from like today and yesterday. Um... And the same with this bronzer. This bronzer is so, so good. It's, do you know what? I would actually go as far as saying it's like the best bronzer actually in my collection. It's just buttery smooth, blends gorgeous into the skin. You can't go wrong with it. It's foolproof. It's the nicest color. I'm gonna show you something, just for a laugh, just for a laugh. But see if he's ever seen me out somewhere with my wig on. Just know that this is what's lurking below. <laughs> that is the most perfect line. Oh yeah, exposing myself here. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> So, um, that's actually it for the eyes. Do you know what? I'm gonna take another wee spritz of this set mist. Did I say that's me done with the eyes? That's me done with the face. I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna take the Be Perfect uh, Pot It Jealousy Liner. This wee one here. And I do have a discount code with the Be Perfect Cosmetics, by the way, guys. Um, it's always down below in the description box. It's for 20% off their website. And you can also use it in store as well, like at the checkout. <laughs> okay, and now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this shade <laughs> from this wee ColourPop palette. I'm gonna start pressing that quite tight to the lash line. I'm also taking this wee P. Louise brush and this shade here. And then just taking a clean brush, I'm gonna go in and just give everything a wee blend. The lips, oh, it's sharpened. Okay, so for lips, uh, V lip liner. We all seen that coming. You can still see that we are a swear guard. Go away. <laughs> I'm just making my lips bigger. But this is just a colors more creamer please. This is discontinued and has been discontinued for quite a number of years now. <laughs> Finish off the eyes I was saying there, I was wanting to use one of the ColourPop Glitter Light Obsessed Glitters, but these are like the yellowy copper golds that I have. So I have this one here. I'm not too sure how well you're gonna see these because honestly, that you need to see them in person because on camera and like on the website and stuff doesn't do them justice. But basically, if you don't know what these are, these are basically like a thick glitter gel. You can use them on the face, hair, body, um, on the eyes. If I just lift up like a chunk, like you see how chunky they are, but they're stunning. Oh, that just rolled off my hand. Like you don't need any adhesive with them because like it's the glitter is in the gel if that makes sense so like any festivals coming up this summer honestly I'll link them down below or uh, like the shade that I use and honestly go through the shades and just see for yourselves like if you have any festivals coming up as I say this year for your face hair glitter body eyes 
dose yourself in this stuff. And then I have this yellow one, which is beautiful. This one here is really different. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but whenever like you move it, do you know what it looks like? And do you know what it reminds me of? You know, like a petrol spill or like a oil spill. I have this one, which is bring the heat. This is actually probably my most used one. <laughs> they're just, they're unbelievable. They're so nice. And they will not budge, they will not move, they will not crease, they will not crack. And then I have this one. Made waterfall, but like, how freaking stunning. I'm actually thinking of maybe mixing the two of these. And just, oh, yeah. So I just like to take like the tiniest wee bit of this stuff at a time and just build it up and just press it on and kind of swipe to kind of move the glitter around because sometimes it maybe will gather in like one area. And because it is like quite a wet gel, it's going to feel like quite cold on the eyes, but it does dry down. And it doesn't budge. Like how stunning is that? You know what I mean? Like that's nothing, you know, like that's just keeping it quite subtle. Um, but just having a wee bit of sahan sahan on the lids, look on the eyes. Um oh, so cute. <laughs> so I of course guys will list them down below for you and go and check out like all the different shades and all that they have to offer. They're so nice, especially coming up to this time of year when it's like festival season. <laughs> Thank me later. And I will, of course, guys, list all the other products that I did use down below for you. So if you just want to go and check them out. But other than that, thank you so, all so, so much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Might see you as a Monday. Might take the day off and clean. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next one.